Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the anticipated Sephora haul. I'm very excited. I remember when I did that wishlist video. So I did add a few more things than were in that video. So I'm gonna share that with you guys today. I'm talking, this is massive. Seriously so massive. I think maybe one of the biggest Sephora orders I have done in a very long time, if not ever. So we're going to dive right into it and see what we think. We're going to dive into the Sephora haul because we're not going to waste any more time because this is freaking huge. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you have picked up anything. If not, hey, wait for all the reviews. You know what I mean? Wait to see what people think. And then if it's worth it, you can buy it, you know? Let's go ahead and dive into it. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit that post notification bell. That way you're notified every single time I upload. And let's just go ahead and dive right into it. All right, we're not going to go in any particular order. We're just going to grab and go. So I have the Kerastase Chroma Absolute Chroma Gloss. Now I did ask my stylist, I just saw her yesterday, if it was okay if I use this and she said yes. Just try not to get it on your wet. So that is what I'm going to be trying out. Oh, it's kind of like water. I was not expecting that. I kind of thought it would be like a um, cream. Ooh, interesting. We're surfacing a high shine rinse treatment for sensitized or damaged color treated hair. I use once a week. Shake well before use. Apply to shampooed and towel dried mid length and ends until saturated. Oh, from here down. Leave on for one to two minutes and rinse thoroughly. Interesting. So not conditioned. I'm going to have to really go into these directions and see if anybody else is posted a review but I'm very excited about this. Look at how cute the box is. I love it. I'm just gonna stack everything behind us while we go. I also did grab that hair oil that I showed you guys and I got the sample size or just the smaller size, the Fable and Main hair oil, the one that you apply directly to your scalp. I wanna smell this and see if it smells like anything because sometimes things like this can smell kind of funky, like just oils in general, especially like Sunday Riley. Their oils smell kind of funky, you know? That smells so good. I would douse my hair in this, honestly, which I'm gonna have to anyway, so I'm very excited to try this out. I'm gonna do it probably my next wash day and see how it goes, because I feel like my scalp has been slightly irritated just because of our water situation. We have well water, it's a whole thing, but I'm very pumped to give this a try. It smells so good. It's not what I thought it would smell like, if I'm being honest. Okay, this product I saw when I went and purchased some things from Sephora like maybe a month or so ago, and they didn't have it in stock, and I'm actually really glad now because I got it for 20% off. It's the Pharmacy 10% Niacinamide Night Mask Smooths and Refines Pores. A potent overnight smoothing mask that visibly improves skin texture, refined pores, and helps strengthen skin's moisture barrier. This silky formula restores hydration. Apply a thin layer nightly to cleansed skin as the last step in your evening routine. Yes, so you don't have to rinse it off. Those are like my favorite kind of masks. And I love the brand Pharmacy so much. I think it's such a great brand. So I'm very excited to try this out. And I want to see if this has a smell too. Doesn't smell like anything, but that's okay. I'm pumped about that and to see if it works well for my skin. Another skincare product that I basically threw in is the Summer Fridays Dream Oasis Deep Hydration Serum. This looked good. I love the, the whole aesthetic of this brand. I think it's so sleek and pretty, but it says it's a weightless jelly serum that instantly absorbs to deliver skin drenching hydration. It's a refreshing oil-free formula, helps to improve the appearance of fine lines while comforting the skin. Use alone or layered under your favorite moisturizer. I'm pretty sure the thing also said this was great for sensitive skin so we will see it's a clean product and I figured the whole jelly serum sounds like it could be also good for daytime so I'm really pumped to give that one a try and I'll show you what it looks like out of the box too because I would love to see it anyways wow this is luxe it's a glass frosted bottle and it's like a green which uh green is my favorite color right now I don't know what it is I just really love green, like fashion. I don't know, I'm gravitating towards everything green right now. Feels really good. I just did a lot on my hand. I'm excited to see if I get nice and hydrated from this. I also cannot get these swatches off, so there's that. Next up, I wanted to try this. This is the Tatcha the Rice Wash Soft Cream Cleanser. I just wanted to try a new cleanser. I've been using my fresh one for forever, and this looked really nice, and I really like Tatcha products, so I just wanted to give this one a go, see if it was any better than my fresh soy face cleanser that I use all the time. If you use this, let me know. It says it's formulated without parabens, synthetic fragrances, mineral oil, sulfate, non-irritating, non-sensitizing, dermatologist tested. Let's get into some makeup. Skincare is fun, but let's honestly dive into some makeup, and then we'll get back into like the hair and skin. I purchased the one-sized 
palettes. These were for Rouge when I first popped on that day. They were sold out. Like a lot of colors were sold out really fast. So I was kind of bummed mainly for the blush. I got the color I wanted in the bronzer. I didn't know what color for the blush to get. So I ended up going with Very That. And I didn't know it was a cream. I didn't read anything though. Like I saw that Patrick was coming out with these and I just literally bought them because I really like the brand. But this has a cream, a powder, and then it looks like a highlight in each palette. But this is definitely a little too fair for me. So I'm debating on if I want to return it and get one of the other colors that I was eyeing. It says clap your cheeks with three versatile textures in an expressive monochromatic color family to achieve a blurring 3D blush effect. Each formula can be worn alone or seamlessly layered for a touch of blush or to a burst of color. So I don't know. I feel like I don't know if I need to try it. The Flex Cream is a versatile cream to underpaint and overpaint. Full Impact Matte is blurring matte and buildable intensity. Hyper Sheen is eye-catching glow and seamless finish. I think it's kind of cool. It's, you can customize basically your blush color, how you want it to look, if you want to go more glowy, if you want to go more matte, if you just want to do a cream. I don't know. I find it really interesting. So that's cool. Again, this is the very that color. I feel like it's a little bit lighter in person, the powder, than what I was expecting. But I am very excited for this one. This is the Made for Shade Bronze and Sculpt Trio. And basically you have Shade Bronze Sculpt. You have the Shade, which is Everyday All over bronzer the bronze which is warm glow without shimmer and the sculpt to contour shape and define I just love the idea of these palettes and the packaging is really cute too you have a very nice mirror in each one and like I said it is a step-by-step -step thing which I think is really cool if you're just kind of diving into bronzers and trying to figure it out I like it a lot so and I like this shade too this is the shade medium and I think this is the perfect one for me so love that so pretty and then speaking of bronzers I snagged this very, very last minute. I saw Emily Gimma post about this and I was like, fine, I will get it. She always makes me get stuff. I got the SkinCeuticals Vitamin C on like Vitamin C Day. I saw so many people promoting it and I was like, you know what, I should probably try a Vitamin C. So I finally got one and she sold me on it. But the Ambient Lighting Palette Volume 3, look at that. So I did use this as bronzer today and I absolutely love it. I think it's so freaking pretty. It's very warm. I would use this one to contour more so bronze. Like it's not a shimmery product at all. It just gives a really pretty glow and these are very pigmented so I tried this out in the video too for the first time they have a lot of color payoff so just keep that in mind but I think it is very very pretty and totally worth it okay I thought I took this out of my cart and then I saw it in my box and I was like oh I guess I didn't because I realized how many bronzers I had and I was like you know what? I don't need another bronzing product but if you guys would like a review on this I would be more than happy to do it for you it's the Fenty Beauty stalker palette it's an instant sun soaked glow for all skin tones with a pop of shimmer for extra dimension pretty sure in this was sweet yeah face and eye bronzer highlighter palette I took it out because I was like do I really need this? Probably not. I don't know if I like the packaging of the bottom portion. I think the top is really pretty, but I think this part right here feels a little bit cheap for me, but I do like the colors in here. I will use these all the time. I was just like, should I though? Am I, am I really going to use them all the time? I definitely will. And you'll need a smaller brush if you're going to use this for your face. This would be like an everyday eye palette for me personally. I use bronzers as eyeshadow anyway. I have a feeling this is about to be so good. That is gorgeous. Miss Rihanna, I need this in like a full highlighter pan, please. Wow, talk about glow. So intense and pretty. I know I know some people don't like an intense highlighter. That's not me. Very pretty. I'm just using this color right here. I will be so interested to see how these wear like on the face too. So far so good. I like the little highlight parts. I think those are very pretty and something I would use all the time. That's the gold. That's perfect for summer. I'll keep you updated, let you know if I love this or not. But I, I did thought I took it out, but I did not. The primer. This is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. Very excited to give this a go. So a lot of people seem to really like this. This is very luxe. It's an expensive primer for sure. So I'm really hoping it works for my skin and my oils and like my pores and stuff. Normally I gravitate towards like blurring primers. Ooh, this is definitely thicker. The other one, yeah, that's a nice thicker consistency. I don't know if you can see it kind of sticking a little bit to my finger. Ooh, that feels good. As long as that sets really well, that'll work. Cause the other hourglass primer I liked, but it was a little too just, I don't know how to put it. It, it wasn't matte enough for me, I guess. So we will see how this works for my skin I can't wait I think it looks so luck thank the Lord because the price tag is luxe anyway so this is the Givenchy prism libre skin caring matte foundation oh this is very pretty I'm hoping the shade will match me well does have a pump 
and it looks really nice, like very luxurious. So we'll see how this goes. It says it's matte for 24 hours, right? Yeah, skin caring matte foundation, 24 hour luminous matte wear. We'll have to give that a go. We'll, we'll test it out and see how it works. Oh, this one, I'm about to put this on right now. I already opened this up. The Necessary Deodorant Gel in Eucalyptus. This is like the most bougie looking deodorant gel I've ever had. This smells like eucalyptus. This kind of feels like water on your armpits. It's definitely like that roller ball, but I love the smell and I just hope that it works really well. I wonder if you should shake it beforehand. It says it deodorizes, protects, and comfort. It's a multi-acid treatment for odor control, which if I don't have the right deodorant, it's not good around here. So very excited to have this. I'm just, I've been wanting it for a while. It has been in my cart for like months now, and I finally just pulled the trigger with the sale. All right, we got quite a bit of LYS products, which I'm very excited for. I also did place another order on Sephora, and I bought the foundation because a few comments in my What's in My Bag video had recommended it, so I did snag it because somebody recommended it. So we will see how that wears on my skin, but a lot of people are saying the packaging of the concealer is not great and that people have even returned it for that, so I'm going to see. I'm going to try to open it real quick and see what it's all about, but this is the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. It's so pretty, and these are are all fairly affordable for like Sephora prices. I think this was $18. I mean, I don't really notice anything. Ooh, that looks so nice. So, I mean, yeah, I would see if you're like trying to be really fast with it, but I think there is some brands where the doe foot's a little bit more difficult to get out, but I don't think that's abnormal. I don't know, maybe some are different than others, but this is in the shade MN1, and I think this packaging is stunning. Like, look at this. I love it. This is giving Patrick Tall vibes, I feel like. All right, and then I bought three different products. I bought LYS Aim High Pressed Highlighting Powder, the Translucent Setting Powder, and the No Limits Matte Bronzer. And this one is the pressed highlighter. Let's just dive into this. There's like a really cute way to open this up, but we're not doing that. So this is the packaging. Oh, are you kidding? That is so smooth. Let me just... Wow, that is going to be so good. This one is the bronzer. This is in the shade Courage. This is a tan color. Ooh, that's a little dark. Probably could have gone with a lighter shade for sure, but that looks like maybe it could work as a contour. I need to get a lighter one for sure just to, because I want to try to really bronze with it. So I'll get the lighter shade and we'll see if it works really good as like a regular bronzer. That's just so cute that they have love yourself all over these. Okay, this is the translucent powder. And it's called Triple Fix Translucent Powder. I actually want to just do a little blotting action with this right now. I don't know if we'll be able to see a difference because I'm pretty matte, but I just wanted to see if you could maybe see somewhat of a difference. I have so much makeup on right now because I keep piling stuff on. Anywho, so far, really impressed with the packaging of this brand. Oh my gosh. So I cannot wait to try all these out. I'll do like a full video when I get the foundation and I'll get the lighter shade of this bronzer and I'll just try everything out in that video and we can see a full review on it. So stay tuned for that. Okay, now we have the one size turn up the base BB cream. I told you guys I was going to buy this because the other one I had gotten from a Sephora in store was used this one is not so this one is in the shade medium one and i'm really pumped to try this out for like summer and stuff just to have something really quickly to put on we will see how that works i did purchase the dp hue cool brunette shampoo want to try this i've never tried a cool brunette shampoo before but it has been really recommended because i have highlights but i also have dark hair so i'm going to see how this works for me it says eliminate unwanted orange and red tones from your hair which my hair does pull quite orange if i'm not careful we will see how this works and only leave it on for a couple minutes okay only leave this kind of stuff on for a couple minutes because it will just ruin your hair i did grab another exfoliating mitts from saint tropez the one that i have is actually like deteriorating i'm using it so much so i did just grab this one because it was on sale okay i did snack two of the smashbox always on liquid lipsticks i used to use these all the time babe alert was my color i used it all the time but i saw it and i went ahead and just snagged it again i feel like smashbox isn't talked about that much lately but their always on liquid lipsticks are phenomenal that's a really pretty color it's like another go-to color for me and then i also grabbed fair game as well these are very comfortable on the lips they're matte they don't like sink into your fine lines. I thought that would be a really good pop in the middle of different lipsticks. They're a great formula. I love these. I think they are just so good and they're like not too big. They're a great size and you can see the color. 1010 recommend those. And then I did grab the Huda Beauty Cheeky Tint Blush Stick in Coral. I told you guys it kind of looked 
teeny bopper, but I still wanted it because it looked fascinating to me and like it was gonna be really good. Ooh, I like this outside packaging. I like that you can see the color on the packaging. That always gets me. And let's see the formula. Ooh, very creamy. Very, very creamy, and I love that color. I just got like a Maybelline one in my drugstore haul that looks similar to this color, but I'm excited to try this one out and see how it works with my oily skin. Cream products are always one of those things that I have to be careful of because they can be really good or they can be really bad. You know, they can move my foundation, they can make me super oily because if I'm putting blush up here, it'll look very cakey and I don't want that. So I have to be very careful with my pores and oil and all that because it can go really good or it can go really bad the makeup by Mario ultra suede sculpting lip pencil but this is cool because it comes with a sharpener I'm always down to have an additional sharpener from products that I buy but this is in the shade tan has a little brush on one end which I probably won't ever use but I wanted to get this because the color just looks so pretty and I don't have anything like this so it's more just like a cool toned bronze shade and I feel like you could do a lot with it but then I also grabbed the makeup by Mario ultra suede cozy lip cream in the shade miss mauve I'm excited to try this one out. I love the packaging. Ooh, that looks so pretty. It looks just like Babe Alert, <laughs> but just a little bit more cool toned. So that's what it looks like. It's definitely more matte than what I thought it was gonna be. I'm happy about that. I'm happy that it is. I also grabbed in my other haul that's coming the Balm that's like a super glossy lip product. Cannot wait to try that, but that's a really pretty color. You can just see all the tones that I love. It's like the same one. I also grabbed this Josie Marin Argan Pro Retinol Whipped Body Butter. This just looked great, and I'm always trying out body butters. I tried out a new one from Fenty today. I love the scent, but I'll keep you guys updated on like the actual hydration of it because that's what I need. I need like intense hydration. I haven't opened this yet, but this is such a pretty package and it had great reviews. So I'm hoping that it's really, really good because it was pretty expensive. It improves the look of fine lines and wrinkles to refine and smooth the body without flakeness, redness, or dryness. I need that. And it says ultra hydrating, nourishing, protective, combats dryness, dullness, loss of firmness, and elasticity. Velvety smooth, air whipped, 100% pure argan oil helps protect skin's moisture barrier with essential fatty acids and potent antioxidants. Yes, I'm here for it. It just sounds so good, right? I did get a new daytime cream. I have been using the daily greens uh, from a pharmacy for months now, maybe even a year, a really long time, and I like it a lot. I just wanted to try something new. So this is the Skin Fix Barrier Plus, the Skin Barrier Restore gel cream it says it helps restore strengthen and balance and protect skin barrier and it's a lightweight nourishing hydrator it sounded like it would work for me because it's a lightweight gel cream and it's supposed to be really hydrating so those are usually what I go for for daytime and then I do like a more intense product at night because if I'm gonna wear makeup or something I need a cream that's gonna like really sink into my skin and not sit on top you know and gel creams are usually good for that okay this is the say I think that's how you say it air set radiant loose setting powder in translucent someone left a comment saying that this had like glitter in it or some shimmer particles in there so I'm a little nervous but we will see how it works they did say it was poreless though like makes you look really smooth so it's kind of like mm, teeter-tottering you know but it says set smooth and diffuse with our unbelievably weightless and radiant loose powder patent aerated cream technology delivers a translucent sheen and provides a natural velvety finish to skin I'm excited to try it I just am thrilled I I don't know that whole description sounds amazing to me so I that's why I snagged it I did grab the, I don't know what this is, I've never heard of this brand. Sawasu Gentle Cleansing Foam. A mild liquid cleansing foam with the rich foamy lather that effectively removes impurities while leaving skin well moisturized. This just sounded so good and I don't know, I the reviews looked really nice. I just wanted to give it a try. I feel like it's kind of small. It's a 1.69 fluid ounces, it's a little tiny, but you know, we're gonna test it out, see if it's good. I've been trying to find a good face cleanser that also helps remove makeup too, so that's why I got two in here, just to explore and see which one's better. And now for the points. So my point perks, I usually go in if I find ones I really like. The Way point perk is one of my favorites. This has the detox shampoo in here I love. You have a leave-in conditioner, body cleanser, I love that. And then this is good too, the hair and body scalp. I only use it for my body, but it is really nice. It smells so good. I did stock up on my fresh points. These are great for travel, like if we're gonna be in the RV or something, or if I'm going somewhere. That's why I always get these little sets, just to have travel options, because you can't use your points for anything else. And then the last two, we have the Necessaire Body Wash. This one's in, is this eucalyptus? Yes, the eucalyptus. I love this, I have one in my shower right now. That is like the cutest little thing. I've never seen a body wash like that. That is 
adorable. And then I did grab this, which this is a great smelling perfume, but if I don't have to buy perfume and I can just get it with my points that are like a sample size like this, I'll normally do that. But this is the Valentino Bois Viva. I don't know, but this is a great one. I actually already have one of these like that I got from a point perk and I keep it in one bag and I just kind of put these in different bags, you know, so that way I can stay smelling good. But this, this smells good. I mean, if you're looking for a full size perfume, this one is amazing, but as a point perk, I mean, it's pretty cute. Last thing, I almost forgot. The Bioionic Oval Wand. I will do a full video on this, like getting ready or whatever after I wash my hair. I wanna do like from straight to curled, and I'm excited to test this out. Let's see, let's get it out of here real quick. It's kind of bigger than I thought. So there it is, and there's a the side, so just be like very big loose waves so that you guys is everything that i got from the sephora sale it was ham and i'll show the additional products that i get on instagram stories too if you guys are interested or i'll just leave them down below too in the product mentions after everything i just showed you guys but had way too much fun i have a lot of videos to share with you and lots of things to try out so stay tuned thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you in my next one bye